Welcome, fellow Armchair Generals. This is Gamer1745 here with another short tutorial on Decisive Campaign's Ardennes Offensive, a great game. And this tutorial is going to be on creating new conf group a, or battle groups, as you call it for the Americans, as well as how you can transfer units between, um, or no, elements between units, I should say. Things like tanks, infantry, guns, whatnot. So we will look at both. First, we're going to look at transferring units, or transferring elements between units. I want to use this, an example from, um, oh, and hey, before we get started, I hope I'm earning a subscription and a like, hitting that like button and a subscription if you're not already as a thank you for this uh, tutorial and as well as other tutorials we'll be making on this and other games. Okay, good example here from a night turn. Um, if you hadn't moved um, like some of these other units, creating a new conf group A, will get, the new one will have zero action points, um, but we will see how this looks here. And this, and I'm also, I also was interested if they can be transferred between different divisions. They can, so this is a good test. So here, eight power points. You got six Panzer fours and twenty troops here. Well, I'll get into this at the end, but um, well, maybe just a moment here. That's not very powerful of a unit. Still has some uses, you know, okay, park it right here, defending, you know, this bridge area here or something like that. Yeah, it has some uses, but not a lot. So, but what you want to do is, it, and you got this, okay, you, got, you have some tanks here, a lot more Panzer Grenadiers, but we can want this up, let's say. So what we're going to do is come here, you click the unit, then click Micro as in like micromanage it. So what we want to do here is we want to start with this unit here because that's the weaker one that we want to get rid of and we want to target this unit. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to move. Well, for the moment, what we're going to do is move all of the tanks over here and um, cannot reduce, okay. Nah, that's interesting. Um, I knew you needed 50 power points to create a new um, conf group, eh? but you cannot leave the unit with less than 50 power points. So we're going to have to move um, all of these troops here if we're going to do this. So now we have um, a better conf group here. So, so now we have this unit here. Now, if you might have noticed here, we can hover over this, a change from Panzer Grenadier to Infantry, Notch Troopin. And I looked on the, looked up, because I had not heard of Notch Troopin before. A lot of things I don't know about. Um, and there's some controversy over the name on the forum, I noticed. And Sea Sharon Troops. This translated as... Um, Oh, some sort of like um, rear guard type troops or something, and the Notch Furung were like, or like backup troops and rear guard. I'm not sure, sorry, which one was which. Um, I gather there's some translation, and I don't know why. I mean, we can see here this is this picture over here. These guys are. Um, Infantry with machine guns and Panzerfaust. The other ones, I think we have some. Uh, let's find another tank unit here. These guys, a little more passive, no machine guns, so not as much firepower. But do realize this game, and we can click here or um, some unit details. But it does go into a lot of details on um, these units and how they're used for everything. So I don't know how if this having this as a mixed formation going to be 
much of a detriment but what you might do here is since again it can't go below um, 50 power points we can go to move uh, we just can't move to there to, to stack because enemy units but you might see about transferring out these units um, some of the infantry or something but that is how you combine so now we have a much more powerful um, unit that's not being wasted away now okay so that's transferring between two units and that's basically what creating a conf group a is going to be anyway so we can come here again to micro now specifically on conf group a um, we want to you want to click here you can scrap or scuttle destroy selected equipment and i don't know why you want to do that particularly but there may be some reason in the game so it does for creating a new um conf group a cost you three um, political power points that's these up here um but it has to be a uh, political power but i don't like some of the terms in this game uh but it has to be 50 power points which is roughly five of these things so so we can see here um that's the power um so now we can do this well let's go back more ah, gamers messing up here so if you wanted once to and that and we can give them um, something like that to be able to create that so we still have you know um, uh, 10 stugs and three and two stews there so we can create that unit conf group there so now we have the conf group we can come down here is now and select this select this and then you can um, come in and say add in um, a bunch here but notice here it says weight this is one of the things i wanted to also highlight here okay weight 10 um and we have carrying 10 here because of the stuff i believe but now we're going over right so you very well might want to go do that move one of these to be able to have your carrying weight you're carrying greater than your weight to keep um, the unit mobile so it doesn't um, you know get stuck at marching speeds so you can keep that in mind when you want to create one of these or you're managing one of these now if you're just re um, setting up a cancel that setting up we, we do have the the new conf group there so there's the original unit there's the conf group so if you're you know a, a defensive unit that's holding a, a position you might want to set you know just throw everything in it to create a coherent unit and um like you see these still have action points but the new one doesn't um, new units do not now there's one other thing i want to quickly highlight here is uh, let's see if we can find an example that's stacked maybe not um, okay here we go i think this will do it so again you want to come to here to micro now you have this unit here and you're gonna notice these go red um with a pre-existing unit like this one over here if it doesn't have a uh, toe and e-match um, no, um, table of organization and equipment match for say tanks over in this unit you cannot or pioneers you cannot transfer them over that way so a um, bunch of stuff we can't we can grenadiers we can move, we can shift those back and forth and that type of thing that doesn't um, for a conf group or battle group that you're creating as opposed to a historical you know because um, this again conf group germans particularly but the americans also did this but germans very much were known for you know um, conf group or battle groups 
and it would be in English, um, that were a mix of formations that were not um, part of an established order of battle um, in normal conditions, shall we say. Um, meaning you have a division. It sets out with its um, normal order of battle. The Germans often would create within that division a Kampf group, a battle group, that um, might have uh, two companies from one Panzer Grenadier regiment with two companies from another Panzer Grenadier um, regiment or company, you know, um, or battalion, I should maybe say, in these, and put them together uh, temporarily to to fight as a, now a four company battle group, Kampf group. And they would put them together um, temporarily, but of course they're part of the they they remain ultimately as part of the original group. And sometimes they would um, stick. Oh, hey, this Luftwaffe flak unit gets stuck in here with this um, SS security company and this um, German um, you know ar you know an army of hares um, supply company to use trucks to move move things around you know and sort of piecemeal a bunch of odd units around. Um, they would do that quite often. So you can create a conf group A. So what we're going to do here is, well, let's, um, let's cancel back to this. What we're going to do is start here and target here. And notice, since this is a conf group and not an established thing, all of these can be moved this way even when you don't have something like um, self-propelled artillery or whatever. So going into a conf group. So just keep that in mind. So hey, I wanted to keep this fairly short. This is how to, if you're getting, if you're getting units that are um, either too weak to um, be effective on the field as you want to use them, you should combine them or if you need to say hold a bridge here which I believe for most of the units here this river is impassable except for on bridges so you just need to hold the bridge somewhere and you don't need a whole lot you know something like one of these groups that can maybe sit there in the town and then you want to continue on with your offensive hold a, a rear action kind of thing like we're doing here i mean this is functioning like a conf group here with its flat guns and 88s and whatnot um and you want to um, leave something behind while having most of the effective units keep going forward these are very handy to do to keep um everything flexible so hey good gaming Remember, again, to like and subscribe. Thanks, everyone. See you next time for more tutorials or more wargaming.